the biggest proof that you are saved is that you have a desire to see others saved. I don't want to scare you, but just to be real, if you could care less about lost people getting saved, I would question if you are really saved. That's tough, ain't it? I'm not trying to scare you, but for real, if you could care less about your classmates, about your family, about people here that don't know Jesus, if you're like, man, I hope somebody leads them to the Lord, but it's not gonna be me. If that's you, I would question if you really know Jesus. Because just like you, I'm terrified to share the gospel at firehouse subs. (laughs) Like I'm scared to share the gospel out in public, but the burden for me is that pushes me to do it is that because this grace was given to me, it show deserves to go to other people too. A wise man once said the gospel came to you because it was on its way to somebody else. The sure sign that you are saved, that you know the Lord, is that you have a deep desire for others to know him and that you're willing to act on it. That doesn't save you, but it does show you are saved. James chapter 2. That does not make you saved, but to show you are saved, you live out your calling. And it quite simply is this, telling people about Jesus Christ. Paul says, my call is to proclaim Jesus Christ. You do not have to be a pastor to be a preacher, Ibuka. In fact, all of us are preachers. We preach the gospel. We proclaim the gospel. We tell the goodness and the glory of Jesus Christ because if he's truly changed us, if we truly love Jesus, we're going to talk about Jesus one way or another. No matter how scared we are, no matter how terrified we are, no matter how bad the world might beat us up, if we really love Jesus, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Have you ever thought about that? That your call is to tell lost souls about Jesus, that God has not just commanded, but called and not just called, but has equipped that you know souls in your life that are very far from Jesus Christ. You realize if they don't know Jesus Christ, they have zero hope, right? Do you understand that? Like the path to hell is real and the path to heaven is real and church attendance does not get us either one. Church attendance is important. But the path to heaven or hell is dependent on whether we know Jesus and have repented of our sins. And if you have lost people in your life and do not care enough to tell them about Jesus, to pray for them, I would ask, have you really met the Jesus of the Bible? Because he wants to create in you a desire deep in your core to tell people about the Lord Jesus. And when you fall in love with Jesus, you will talk about Jesus.